The story has a lot of layers to me. I, yeah. I, first and foremost, I think it's very sweet, and I hope they can find whoever the couple is. I, I hope they're still out there. I hope they're still together. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. but how did this end up on the floor of a Walmart? Yeah. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. For 64 years. Yeah. It's just on the floor of a Walmart. Someone must have dropped it. And they opened the letter. And I don't know how I feel about it. I'm glad, because it's got sweet. It. I guess you got it, but like, one, I think it's illegal to open letters, technically. Two, that aren't postmarked. So you find a, a random letter. It's, and it's kind of a sweet thing. It? it was meant between two people. You try to find them, but I don't know. I think there's a little something strange about Maybe reading it. Maybe she never got it, and that makes you kind of sad at the end, because what if that had some bigger implications? Yeah, the well, little part okay. about <laughs> wanting to get to your parents to marry you, and like she never got uh, the letter. That's horrible. It's like, what happened? <sighs> Yeah, I, I am hoping for the best, and that they're out yeah. there and they can find it. But again, I don't know if we should have all read it. It's fun and it's cute, but like... So not only did they open it, they put it on national television. Yeah, we're reading it here. That happened in Georgia. We're talking about it here. Yeah. It is sweet, though. So, yeah. that's the news.